Welcome back, everybody. In our last episode, we had just finished up our war with Russia, and now we are teching up a little bit and building up our our society so that we can take on Darius over here. Darius is the current leader in tech right now, and we want to make sure we don't fall too far behind. But we do want to try to focus on building up our military um, and uh, not wait too long. Because if the longer we wait, he'll get more and more techs and then we're going to continue to fall behind. I mean, we, we have a lot of new territories to develop. So we may um, be able to catch up to him in tech, but I don't want to wait for that. So I'm going to try to go ahead and start building up military forces and then take the war, continue the war against Darius. Uh, let's see if we can do any trades with the lower, the lower sieves. Uh, I don't know if I want to trade with Darius. Uh, he, he won't trade anyways. He's currently cautious. He doesn't really like us. We don't uh, follow the same religion, so... All right, let's um, let's get let's continue. Okay, we are 21 turns from bank banking, but we're at zero percent uh, research, so we'll have to do something about that. Do I want to try to get some wonders? Plus two happiness in every city. That's really nice. Although I don't know if I want to do that. We just got our special harbor, the Cawthon. Hmm. It's very tempting to build wonders, and especially a happiness wonder. And then we're getting... Um, we need to focus a little bit on our economy. Let's uh, park him on this hill so we can take a look at two of his ma major cities and see how what units he's developing. All right, let's see what we can do in banking. Get banking one turn. Let's go for it. We want to go 100%. Let's just get it in one turn and see what we can get next turn. Banking is this will help with our income situation. Um, I may want to V-line for um, military tradition and get cuirassiers. Let's go for that. So that means getting a lot of text here. Music, philosophy, then nationalism. But I'm going to go ahead and do that, and then we'll hit them with a bunch of cuirassiers. Uh, we got a theater here. Let's go with the forge. That will increase our production. And, yeah, you're just going to sit here and watch. We'll upgrade all of our forge guys to... Um, Curus errors when we get to the when we get the right tech. Okay, what do we got here? I should consider building a heroic epic. And somewhere. I don't know about here. Oh, I need to build a mine there, I think. Okay. Let's go with, I don't know if I want to do a monastery. University would be nice. Um, this place doesn't have a lot of production, does it? Everything's taking a long time. I also don't want to completely neglect my military. Let's go with, we don't have health problems, but we'll go with Grocer. And over here, let's see if we can get that. All right, I want to take a look at a good place to put down Heroic Epic. Maybe Carthage. Do I have any more National Wonders? Did I use up my National Wonders in, in Carthage? I could. I could do heroic epic. That would be pretty good. But I'm going to continue with 
I'll build the heroic epic here. Or does it even need it? It produces units so fast. Um, and we got the military instructors, two of them here. So yeah, definitely gonna build the heroic epic in Carthage. But for now, we'll continue getting the. Um, what do we got? Notre Dame here. If music be the food of love. All right, grocer. We don't need more workers. I don't know why they're recommending that. Um, we got a lot of money here. Get a bank. And you protect the... Oh, I probably should have just attacked him. He. I don't know if Galleys, Barb Galleys, will attack Tribunals. Mm -hmm. Let's get Philosophy in one turn, and then four turns to Nationalism. Okay, he did attack. Do anger what? That I do without being commanded. But I don't think we do have a lot of great profit law. usage. So, I mean, I would like to get two great profits because I have two religious buildings I could build. But um, it's just, yeah, we're not really doing well on the great person here. Let's just focus on this. And what do we? Oh wait, this is our capital. So we got four turns. We got a 15% chance of great profit. But we're going for Notre Dame. And then, all right, um, we don't need a whole bunch of culture in Amsterdam, so we're not going to do that. <clears throat> Cyrus over here with his caravels, because he has optics. Um, I mean Darius, not Cyrus. He's got optics and theology. What about Peter? You've got optics. Uh, do you want to trade for that? What do you want? 828. Do you want music? No. What would make this deal work? 90 gold. Okay, let's do it. I don't know why I wanted optics, but One if I can get it with a trade and I don't need to research it. Do I have gold. whales anywhere? Um... Right here. Yeah, I do have whales. Ten turns. Let's go ahead and do it. Get the work boat. Uh, okay, you're building a farm. I wanted to build a... I want to go here and get a mine here, because this town doesn't have a lot of production. All right, get more of those Cawthons. Let's do um, some military, I think. Although you need a bank for all those big money bags. No, we're doing military. Do we have a stable here? We do. Let's get a knight. We can upgrade them later. No stable here. Since we're going to go for a lot of Curusairs, I'm going to build a lot of stables. And um, nationalism in two turns. Cool. Uh, I do want culture here because we just got our sheep back, but I want to continue to push on those borders. Uh, let's chop the trees first, and I may go with a windmill instead of a, uh, of a mine. Okay, we got nationalism. We should go for Taj Mahal. For a half pence a day or and for a then... You must speak to the soul in order to electrify There's nothing it. really I want to go for as far as civics changes. I don't want to do mercantilism. Well, one free specialist per city, but no foreign trade. That would really make us fall behind in tech. However, if we get... If we're at war with Darius, there's really not a whole lot of trading. Well, we still got Peter and William Van Orange. Uh, we got a great scientist. Let's see. What do we want to do with him? He could give us 1914 for um, for printing press. And printing press is required for replaceable parts, which is a requirement for rifling. And plus we get the plus one gold. We have a lot of towns. Um, Plus one gold for towns, plus one gold for villages. 
That would be nice. And then plus one for wood mill. So that might be the next thing I go for. Um, I could do golden age, but I, there's no civics changes. I could just put him in here as a worker. And we get, we'll get the plus one hammer. Although at this point, you get the plus one hammer. And then I think that's your base production. So we would get 50% plus 25%. Hmm. Well, we're just going to sit on him for now. And when we get, after we get military tradition and gunpowder, then I'll bulb him and we'll go for printing press and rifling. That sounds like a plan. And then after rifling, we'll get, um, we'll go after, let's do, we just built a stable, so let's go ahead and take advantage of that and build some knights. Uh, who do we want? We'll go for Peter. And I will do a windmill here because I'm going to get printing press soon. So let's uh, let's do that. And we've almost completed Notre Dame. That'll give us two happiness everywhere. That's really good, especially since Carthage is at zero happiness. And when we go to war, the plus two happiness will really help there. Now, do I do heroic epic here? Get 100% military production. No, we're going with the Taj. Get a great... Let's do another knight. Let's build a bunch of knights. Okay, over here, you need a barracks. Um, do I want to do culture? Do I want to do a cultural building, like a library? Yeah, let's go ahead and get a library for this city. Because his culture's right up here. And, well, I mean, we'll take that, but it'd be nice to be able to get a little bit closer. So maybe, like, go here, here, and here for the attack. All right. Where's Darius on the tech tree? Okay, we are actually, I think, ahead of him now in tech. That's really good. What about Montezuma? Yeah, we're way ahead of Montezuma. And Peter. Yeah, we'll get our, our cuirassiers and then just go rifling. Uh, but we may not wait for rifling to go to war. We'll see. All right, Darius, Darius found out the world is round, which we could have probably done that, but I didn't really find that on a Pangea map as a uh, priority. All right, let's see. We've got another knight. We'll go with... We need to get a bunch of trebuchets. And make sure we have a barracks. We do. Trebuchet. You just got a grocer. And next you'll get a trebuchet. And let's just automate our workers. Nice. We'll keep a knight in our capital. Or, that's not our capital. This is our capital. Oh, wow, this guy is really powerful. We might want to upgrade him to a knight. Or a cuirassier, actually. When the time comes, military tradition is won. Then we'll go for gunpowder. Victorious warriors Ooh, we win could get first liberal and then go to war. Liberalism and get a free tech. Go to war first and, then seek to win. and then we could do free speech as well. Um... We can get the printing press. Okay, let's go for gunpowder first. And then we'll bulb uh, and get that in like two turns. And then we'll go for liberalism. And liberalism will get us rifling. Uh, we could get economics. Wow, there's just so many choices here. We'll go for gunpowder. Our tech is really, really strong right now. Uh, but I still want to try to push the attack a little bit. So, yeah, we're really strong in tech. He's got gunpowder already, though. Uh, so he'll have his musketmen. But he does not have... Does he have... He doesn't have nationalism. So he cannot build cuirassiers. 
And someone just be built the Anger Watt. How come it says built in a faraway land? I don't know who built it. Interesting. And, yeah, he's got a bunch of catapults, longbowmen. This should be pretty easy work for an army of cuirassiers. The wealthiest, Darius, William, and then me, right in the middle. Oh, yeah. We'll build Hermitage in Moscow. That'll be good. Uh, no, we're not joining the Russian Empire. We're not giving handing over Moscow. No, 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 no. They're our vassal. We're not doing that. All right, Taj in seven turns. You can get All right, what you want we'll go for printing press. And you can with oh, getting our whales. Word. Nice, nice, nice. Now here, uh, yeah, I wanted to go to my great scientist. You'll go ahead and get us printing press in one turn. Good job. And then what we'll get. Did for war, the printing press we'll get for um, liberalism next, and then that will give us the printing press. All right, we'll get some cuirassiers. More cuirassiers. We do want trebuchets. Library. Um. You get a barracks. Let's go ahead and start just going full-on military right now. And we'll get the Taj Mahal. Um, and then after our Golden Age, we'll declare war. Trebuchet. Go down here. Uh, Darius just completed the Hagia Sophia. He's we're quite got quite the lead on him in tech, and we'll get more cuirassiers. We do need a bunch of trebuchets, but I'm trying to build the trebuchets in locations that don't have. Wow, Darius is just is just pumping out the uh, wonders, isn't he? The spiral minaret. We'll get liberalism. I'm pretty sure he doesn't have liberalism. Nope. He's really pumping out the wonders. Well, so are we. Uh, wow, finally you want to do open borders. Huh. <laughs> Interesting. All right, we get our free tech. Give up a little liberty Let's see, printing press security. is, we'll I mean, replaceable parts both. that will give us the extra windmill. That will get us closer to cannons. But we'll go with uh, replaceable parts and then go for rifling next. We could get the great merchant. That would be also would also be pretty cool, but we'll go replaceable parts. And no, we're not going to change our civics. We'll get rifling. And we'll do trebuchets. Stop the war against Darius. Who's at war against Darius? Probably Montezuma. Um, we'll say yes because we want to go to war against Darius. The whole is more than the sum of its parts. All right, I discovered liberalism. I already knew that. But we still got that scary music. Montezuma is declaring war on Darius. Who? Was there someone that was already at war with Darius? No. I guess the war just started, and then instantly they tried to stop the war. All right. Well, um, we'll see what Montezuma can do. Is that why he wanted open borders with me, so that he could trade with me? Uh, what has he got? I wonder what his, uh, his soldiers are. <laughs> he doesn't have... He's so far behind in tech, but he could have... Some massive stacks, you know. Let's send a Curacao to watch the battles. Let's see if we can find Montezuma's stack. And you go over here. See if we can see Montezuma coming in. All right, continue, continue. 
Uh, I thought I voted no. <laughs> it succeeded. Uh, he didn't refuse. Okay, well, that's fine. Um, I should have uh, voted no. I thought I was going to vote no. <laughs> oh, I guess because we didn't want him to get destroyed. Yeah, that was the reason. All right, we got our golden age. Um, no, I'm not giving you this for 80 gold. No, 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 no. We got our Taj. Let's get a bunch of uh, trebuchets. You know, it's probably better to go trebuchets now, and then once we get rifling, we'll just go ahead and build the catapults. That will save us a lot of money, so we don't need to upgrade them. Nice. We got our golden age for eight turns, and then at the end of eight turns, we should have a pretty big army so that we can go to war. And no more wonders, no more civic buildings. We'll f let the all the civic buildings finish. You're still building a courthouse. You got tons of money. We might do a bank here. But no. We got to do military. We're ahead in tech. We could do a university in Carthage. Um, no. No. Trebuchets. Trebuchets. Focus on military. Focus on military. I always get distracted. Want to build everything. I just want to build everything in every city. And I never get around to building a military. But that's going to stop. We're going to have... Tons of trebuchets. We're going to have tons of cuirassiers and cavalry. And we're going to have a just a massive army coming in here. We're getting our hermitage. Wait till we get rifling. We get the. We can upgrade them. Send a couple guys down here. We'll have two armies, one in the north, one in the south. We can hit them here in the desert, I guess. All right. Um, more trebuchets. And you just got a forge. You'll get a barracks. Got a trebuchet here. Oh, we took some of the culture back. Nice. And we got Hermitage. We'll get Barracks. How's our... Uh, this city has just one. Let's put more here. Let's. This one's actually closer. I'm going to bring these two down here. We'll split up our armies. I'm going to send a lot of the new guys down here. And then one more turn, we're going to get Rifling. Nice, and then we'll work on cannons. Political power grows out of the barrel of Let's a just V-line for steel, which is chemistry, and then steel. All right. We've got a lot of trebuchets, and now we're going to do cavalry. We'll get some infantry. They'll be good for defense. But we can upgrade a lot of our macemen over there, too. So... Uh, do I want to get stables? Let's get riflemen in the cities that don't have stables. We'll build riflemen. Um, you have stables. You'll get cavalry. You, I'm pretty sure you don't have stables, so you'll get, um, some riflemen. Or trebuchet, trebuchet. All right, I should just go ahead and the ones, the cities that are producing riflemen, we'll just continue. These guys don't have stables, so I'm just going to do alternate between riflemen and trebuchets like this. I'm going to go ahead and just plan out all my cities right now. You don't have stables, so you'll go riflemen, trebuchet, riflemen, trebuchet, just like that. And same here. And then the guys doing cavalry will just produce cavalry. Just like that. And what do we got over here? Yep, you'll be doing rifleman, trebuchet, rifleman, trebuchet, rifleman. Just like that. 
And that should set us up for a long time. Anybody else? Oh, you. That should get us set for a long time, and we don't need to uh, be doing this every turn. And what else do I want to do? Do I want to set rally points? Uh, I don't know how to do that, actually. I'm not going to do that. Not right now. Okay, you'll get there in four turns. Our golden age ends in four turns. That's when we want to go. And you'll get here in five turns. Go ahead. And we'll, we'll send some guys up here. That'll be fine. And how's Darius doing? He just passed us in score. He got economics, which gave him a great merchant. That's fine. He can be ahead in score for now. He's going to taste our... We'll do... I'm going to do some cash turns, because I do want to upgrade my units, too. But I'm going to wait until after my golden age for that. Take advantage of all these extra beakers. Okay. We could get an extra golden age here. But I don't want to wait <laughs> to start the war. Maybe once we take over Darius, we'll have a, a golden age ready to go. Uh, do I want to change my civics? Do I want a good free speech? I kind of like bureaucracy. I could go with vassalage and get a bunch of experience, but I'm not going to do that. Should I go with mercantilism? Maybe after I declare war, uh, I could do another golden age and do mercantilism. We'll keep our civics for now. Uh, do I want to do... F no, I don't want to do free speech. We'll keep on bureaucracy because the capital is going to be producing a lot of troops. Okay, we just got barracks here. We'll do the rifle... Sh Rifleman trebuchet thing. Just like that. And one more turn for chemistry, then four more turns to steel. We're not going to wait for steel. Two more turns, we'll go to war. Well, maybe a couple more turns after that so we can upgrade. Yeah. I do want to upgrade. We got a lot of swordsmen, a lot of axemen. All right, you're going to be doing the rifleman trebuchet thing. Wow, he's going for constitution. Wow. Well, he can have it. If he goes for democracy and then gets emancipation going to cause a lot of unhappiness for our people. Okay, Golden Age is over. Um, we're not going to give you anything. No, you can become our vassal, but unless you're our vassal, we're not going to give you free checks. 20 million people. Nice. All right. Let's go down to 0% so we can do some upgrades. And we're getting riflemen. We'll go here. I think a couple of turns. We, I don't need to upgrade everybody. Just a few people. And see what we can upgrade here. Let's start with some of our best axemen. We'll move, get them. Okay, I only could afford one. Only one. Uh, one per turn, I guess. So, we'll just get a couple of good, re really good riflemen. Like this guy with the three city raider three. Let's see if I can find another city raider three guy to upgrade. And over here. No City Raider 3 guys um, anywhere. Okay. Let's go ahead and get one of these. Where's our Numidian Cavalry? You're just a scout. 
Uh, right here. He was pretty powerful. We'll send, get him to be a uh, cavalry. Uh, probably. Okay, we'll do a city raider too. And then get him to cavalry next turn. There you go. Keep getting more and more troops. I think Darius is not going to stand a chance. We're just going to roll right over Darius and then Montezuma. Cool. All right. I think I'm ready to go. We'll leave one guy. So we'll leave one of our cavalries here just in case. And our longbowmen, our archer, and send an army out. And same over here. We'll go here. We'll save one of our axemen and one of our cavalry. This cavalry is going to stay behind. So we'll go right here. And I do want to try to get steel in three turns, but not going to wait for that. We'll just defend this guy. Skip this turn. Next turn we'll go. This battle, this uh, army here, the, the cavalry will be able to take place in the battle. But not the... Uh, Not the uh, not anybody else because we'll be able to hit it in one turn here. All right, I'm gonna defend him just in case whatever he sends in. Uh, like, let's get this guy out of the way. Uh, although he's kind of, they could kind of go here. Yeah. All right, one more turn. Now we'll talk to Darius. Yes, we'd like to discuss something else. We're declaring war. Yes, declare war. Here we go. We'll take a nice little worker as a as a nice gift. Thank you very much. And we'll take another worker as a gift. Thank you for all your good gifts. Your free workers you're providing us. All right, let's stay on the... Let's see. We'll stay on the roads for now. And then I'm going to go ahead and get money in case I need to do some emergency upgrades. All right. Carthage is unhappy. Wow. They don't want to fight this war at all. Um, that's unfortunate. Why don't you want to fight this war? Because you don't want to fight your brothers and sisters of the fate. Huh. Already at uh, plus two. Um, we'll do some culture. Uh-oh. Do I not have a theater? <laughs> no theater here. Let's just do that in one turn. And then go back to... Go back to producing... Anybody else super unhappy? Wow, glad we got that Notre Dame. So Moscow's unhappy, too. Moscow has a theater, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Interesting. You really don't like it. Oh, you want to join your motherland. Okay. We'll keep you here for one turn until that is developed, but I don't want to keep too many troops in into Moscow. And I should go ahead and upgrade these guys against pikemen. Because that's going to be the most threatening guys to our Curacers. All right, we got a bunch of guys. Let's just send them out. We're going to reinforce our armies. Actually, there's no roads here. Let's go this way because we're going to need those roads once we take out this city next turn. Um, I don't really need to worry about this. I can go ahead and send him back. Yeah, you're just going to defend in case there's some funny business going on here. And, yeah, we're at 30% culture because we're already super unhappy. Well, next turn. 
All right, we're gonna automate these guys. Now, we should be able to just start with our catapults. Down to 54%. We're gonna have to, we're gonna have to do a, I'm gonna do a bunch of these guys with the accuracy. Let's see how well they do. Okay, we're down to 0%. Do I want to waste my trebuchets on their cities? 32% when I've got a cavalry. That is going to have a lot better. Do a pinch, uh, I mean, uh, a shock cavalry that's going to do good against pikemen. Okay, and that gave us. We're not fighting the pikemen. Alright, let's try our City Raider 3 guys. Oh yeah, our city raider rifleman, and there we go. That was it. Pretty easy. We'll start with a monument and head on out to this next city. And I probably should have promoted him to be a medic, shouldn't I? Um, oh well. Okay, happiness is under control. We can probably lower. Let's take a look. We can lower this down one. Oh, Moscow's unhappy. Well, let's keep him happy. Keep it on culture. And also send this guy on to the front. Yeah, I should have put these guys on roads. Uh, we're going to automate this guy. These guys on roads. Oh, the road goes through, doesn't go through our territory, so we can't get there. Um, but we'll separate this army. We'll send all our horsemen out. Oh boy, I hit it when just one guy. Oh, who did I? There we go. Get our horsemen into this town. You go in. Oh, we got elephants. We got elephants, and we got more horsemen. They can just jump in. And the rest, gonna have to wait a turn. Um, yeah, send them more, more reinforcements. Uh, I'm just gonna get rid of this scout. And we're gonna automate this guy. More trebuchets. We're gonna have just a massive army. I don't really need to mill much more troops, I don't think. We'll just do cavalries here. Just a bunch of cavalrys. But our other cities aren't going to bother. We've got overwhelming forces. Uh-oh. But I didn't consider Navy. And we'll keep this guy here. We need to, we need to do some caravels. Yep. And... Yeah, just automate these guys. All right. Let's send our horsemen out. Get a view of the city. There's a big stack. There's a big stack. Let's promote these guys. He's got the elephants that we were trading with him. And we'll get one protective rifleman. Um, let's get our knights to join the farm. got a big stack over here and we'll get a rifleman should have promoted more people so let's get him promoted and promote him and what else we got here Uh, gonna heal up, and we're gonna promote you. I don't know. Let's just keep him as a curacao. And we want to send out all of our 
our trebuchets. These guys can't go. We'll get him behind, but we'll get a kick. Ah, I didn't want to do that. I hate that. I hate it when that happens. Unselect. Select all our cavalry. Select a cavalry. Select an archer. Get our war elephants. And who else wants to go? That's it. And there we go. And I hit the next city. See what they do with their stack. Okay, they're attacking. We get collateral damage. But I think cavalry is going to be okay. Cavalry versus elephants. Oh, we lost one. Yeah, that those when you have a big stack, they can hurt you with catapults, and we then the weaker units can come in and do some damage to your to your to your guys that take the collateral damage. Like we're losing a bunch of cavalry. Because we took all that collateral damage. Each time those catapults attacked, we took six units of collateral damage. All right, but we took care of their stack. We can upgrade. How good are these knights against these guys? Okay. One. Nice. And, yeah, keep them, keep the... The military machine going. All right. These four guys. What do I do with them? They're pretty hurt. Let's send them back to rest. And get just about everybody except for one rifleman to move on out. And you'll get protection. And you guys gonna take the hills. And we've got cavalry that could join them. Nice. We got two knights here, kind of vulnerable. They got more catapults. Maybe I should have split up my army a little bit. It's just too tempting to jump on a hill for the defensive bonus, but my cavalry doesn't get any defensive bonus, so that actually didn't make much sense. I should have sent half here, half here, so I don't get as... He's got the bonus to the collateral damage, too. Okay, but he didn't do anything. Organize a rebuilding effort. Oh, yeah, we need to get some caravels. Caravel here. Get a caravel here. And another caravel here. And we'll send this guy out, get him promoted. And we'll just defend this food. Hope he attacks. And this guy will just defend. All right, let's not make the same mistake twice. Let's promote this guy up here. And rest these guys up. And I think I'm going to wait a turn for these trebuchets. We'll split this army up. And we'll take the spearmen. And split this army up. There we go. These knights will go back and heal up. Actually, not. They can heal up in this city. Because we'll take it soon. Hi. 
Alright, he took the bait, attacked me, I should win this. Oh, how did that happen? Oh my goodness. We'll fight him. And I had the defensive bonus, plus I had double promotion. Um, but we'll get it next time, and we'll get uh, another caravel. And we'll wait till next turn. Alright, what do we do with this guy? We got one guy protecting, so let's just move him out. Keep him on the roads. Let's uh let's go ahead and strike. Let's bombard their town first. Oh, wow, they got a castle maybe here. They got really good defense, so let's go ahead and just take our time, whittle them down. We got a couple big stacks coming. And you'll escort these trebuchets out. And, um, all right. I think I'm going to go ahead and put a cut in it here. Thanks for watching. Bye.